Welcome back to Just Books. Well-known author and journalist Pinky Virani, who after the success of award-winning books like Aruna's Story, Once Was Bombay and Bit Chocolate, non-fiction accounts, has now produced her first book of fiction. It's called Deaf Heaven. Pinky, Deaf Heaven also, in a way, follows some the pattern of some of your uh, famous investigative documentary non-fiction books uh, except it's the lives of several women as told very unusually uh, through a recently deceased woman librarian who comes back like a sutradhar or narrator to really investigate the stories of these disparate women yes that's right the stories of the lives which the Susadhar narrates are pure fiction. Uh, the boxes that she uses, what she calls Saraswati statistics, because she's um, an interneter, are obviously non-fiction. The characters are pure fiction. And it's a variety of characters uh, set in your hometown, uh, Mumbai, you know, whether it's a hard-talking, tough uh, woman journalist or women trapped in the false and artificial life, tragic life of uh, the film industry and so on. How did you, were these people you knew? No, I couldn't possibly have known them. Uh, uh, or based on characters that were familiar? No, they're all fiction. And uh, uh, in any case, I couldn't possibly have known them all because Saraswati introduces us to women all over the country. They're pan-Indian voices. So while her sister Damayanti is part of Bollywood, which is the Bombay film industry, most of the other women are from Chennai, from Delhi, uh, Kutsia is from Bhopal, uh, and so on and so forth. They're all lovely people who translated rather well into the writing. But you know, it's a bit of a jump for you. Uh, most of your uh, work, as I said, has been investigative and in the non-fiction field, your first and uh, one of your best known books, your first, created a big stir. Aruna's story, it was really the investigation of a single, brutal, very controversial rape of a nurse in Mumbai that led to one of the biggest nurses strikes in the city. Um, then you did your great exploration of, of child abuse in India. So what was it like to jump from those very journalistic stories, which were major works, into fiction? I think the fact that there was no beginning, middle and end as far as Deaf Heaven was concerned and I had to necessarily get up every morning and see where Saraswati was taking me. Uh, I, each time I decided, I, when going to bed in the night I would think, well tomorrow I need to clean this part up because Saraswati actually needs to introduce us to X or Y and this is what she will do. I would find that when I would sit down, Saraswati would have decided quite something else. So there came a point when I stopped struggling with the characters and let them flow. That worked very, very well for the simple reason that I did not have to control anything except uh, the verbosity. Right. But for example, going back, just replaying back to Aruna's story, uh, that was very much a journalistic work, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And it was also, um, I had no um, template to work with because it was the first book of its kind in the country in the genre of faction. Uh, so I, I, I looked at the only possible work to date in the entire, well, till then, uh, Truman Capote's In Cold Blood. Uh, the non-fiction novel. Yes. And, and that was really the only one at that time I could look at. Subsequent to Aruna's story, there has been a lot of books in this show. Uh, so it, it pretty much followed my journalistic instinct with my research and investigative background. Uh, led in the style of in cold blood so that i knew where to place the beginning middle and end